This keyboard is called the Blademaster TE, and it's by a company called Drevo. Now, full disclosure, they did send it to me. I didn't buy it, so do with that what you will. This keyboard is totally 100% meant to be a gaming keyboard. This is not meant to be something an iPad person works from. But, hey, here I am. It's got a very industrial design. You can see underneath the keycaps, there's LEDs. It's meant to be a gaming keyboard. But I kind of like that, to be honest. It's something different. It's not something that I'm used to. The design aesthetic that I go for typically with my stuff is very minimal. So it's kind of nice to shake things up every once in a while. The switches that came with this one are the red switches. Now, I've actually never had a mechanical keyboard with red switches before, so I really wasn't sure how I was going to like it. Uh, they're much quieter than the blue switches that I prefer because I really like that clicky sound. Now, the red switches are meant to be quieter. They're meant to be for like office spaces and stuff like that. I find it still makes quite a bit of noise, but it's not as loud and it's not as clicky as blue switches. This keyboard has a ton of travel in the key press. Everything feels great when you're typing. I feel like I type a lot faster when I'm using a mechanical keyboard, and this compared to my code mechanical keyboard feels about the same. I feel like I can type about the same amount. Just like you would assume with a gaming keyboard, there's LEDs, but there is a ton of different patterns to pick from. There almost may be too many patterns because it's hard to get back to the one that you like if you scroll through it. There's really cool patterns like when you touch a key, it lights up, or if you touch a key, it'll send a shockwave throughout the keyboard. It does a lot of fun stuff. How you control it is this wheel on the side. There's six function keys that you can pick through. The insert key has the one that allows you to change the LEDs. When the function is on the insert key, just scroll the scroll wheel and you can flip through them. You can press in on the button to just turn off the LEDs and just turn on the side lights. If you change the function to the delete key and use the scroll wheel, it'll change the brightness of the LEDs. The page up one will do the volume for music or podcast or whatever you're listening to. If you have a Mac or a PC, there's software you can install for this keyboard, so you can get much more into the weeds with what it does. But since I work completely from an iPad, I can't install that software. So I'm just kind of using it in the base config right now. Now, as far as mechanical keyboards go, this one's a bit on the smaller side. It doesn't have a number pad or anything like that. It's meant to be a little more compact, which is great for an iPad user sitting at a desk. This is where you would want to use this kind of keyboard from. Of course, you need an adapter to make the USB-A port work. As an iPad user that works at a desk a lot, I do like having a mechanical keyboard I can plug into. And then when I'm on the go, I just switch to the smart keyboard folio. I just find mechanical keyboards are a lot better to type on. Where the Blademaster TE gets really interesting, it's only $80, which is almost half the price of my favorite keyboard, the Code Mechanical Keyboard. It's the same button layout and everything. This is great for somebody that's interested in getting into mechanical keyboards. $80 may sound like a lot for a mechanical keyboard, but trust me, for a good quality, good built one, that's a steal. I've used both Code Mechanical Keyboards and DOS keyboards before, and this feels on par with their build quality. Plus, it has way more LEDs. My Code Mechanical Keyboard only has a white option. And everyone knows LEDs are more fun. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this keyboard in the comments below. Also, if you have any gear you want me to check out for future Gear Thursday videos, let me know. Uh, I know I missed last week, but I have a really good reason you guys will see coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.